All right, guys, it's May 28th, 2014. This is Dave Bennett, and I'm going to show you the latest and greatest version of the bulk subdomain creator, which is now going into version 1.1. Yeah, it's a really new tool. Absolutely cool. And I'm going to log in there and show you the latest features because they're great. They're just absolutely great. We enjoy it. This is going to be released really soon. But before I do that, let me come here and just make the point again in case anyone doesn't know. What is a subdomain? Just to make it really, really clear, you know, if you have something like HTTP colon slash slash, you might have domain.com, right? That could be your domain. Another way to see it would be www.domain.com. Well, in this example, the www is the subdomain. Except it's not really a subdomain because it's just an alternative way of saying domain.com. Uh, so how would you get a subdomain? Well, let me just kind of show you some examples real fast. And that would be like this. You might say um, your uh, project. So this could be like Mother's Day flowers. Okay. Uh, that would be if you're selling Mother's Day flowers. Okay. Could also be um, your MLM dash program. Uh, it could be anything else. Another example might be this. Um, it could be um, Chicago dash plumbers. Okay. Now that's if you're selling like a, a uh, plumbing services or plumbing websites and you're putting them on your own domain and guys are renting them from you and you're just picking your best choice out of Chicago, your best choice out of whatever city and those guys are each paying you for doing them in their city. So another one might be Atlanta plumbers. Okay. Now, uh, real quick, another common use for subdomains. There's two more. Let me just point them out real fast. Okay. Another one, common one would be this. Uh, you might have a downline and you want to create them a new page with each guy who comes. So you're putting out like a replicated page and you guys know how this would work because your affiliate system would be set up to do this kind of thing. Um, but I've seen guys who literally are trying to create a thousand of these. Don't ask me why. Somebody said I need a thousand subdomains for all of my downline guys. Here's all of their names and I need... Um, you know, a subdomain created for every single one of them. So I need this to point at, and the subdomain needs to point at a folder. It's really just a shortcut to a folder. Guess what the folder would be? Uh, just in case you don't know, let me point that out real quick. I'll be almost done with this in a second, then I'll show you what I'm after. And in this case, it'd be our Ann Smith, right? Okay. And that's not right. The folder itself would be this, okay? Boom, that would be the folder on the website where John Doe's stuff is, okay? This would be the folder on the website where Ann Smith's stuff is, right? So by visiting this link, creating this thing, if somebody clicks on it, it automatically goes here, even if they don't see it do that, even if it just looks like this in the browser window, in the address bar, okay? It's really going here because that's where the files really physically exist on the domain. They have to be in some folder, and there it is. Okay. So when you click on this, even if it looks like this, it's really going to be here that the files are going. What's the point? These rank harder on Google than these. This ranks better on Google than this. Okay. There's a lot of explanation to it. Forget about why. Final thing I want to point out, because I've seen, again, people create like a thousand of these. Just try to imagine these going on all day, you know, and this, by the way, is a pain in the neck when you try to create it manually, especially if you have to do a bunch of them. They can take up to two minutes each. So, you know, a thousand, if you're trying to literally create a thousand, and that would be like 2,000 minutes, you know, you divide by 60, and that tells you like, you know, 33 and a third hours of just, uh, just crunching these things in one after the next and turning into a zombie in the process of trying to get it to work. <laughs> Forget that noise. Final use that I know of, and then people do other things with them anyway, but the final use I know of is if you have a program. Somebody rents it, and it just creates a generic, you know, um, something like that maybe. And then it would be .domain.com, and that would be their rental version of the program. We do that with theme to html when people are renting it, and then when they flat out own it, uh, then that's good. Then they get their own copy they can put on their own website, but again... You know, it would be pointing at a folder, you know, that they don't need to understand where the folder is. They just go to their shortcut link to get to it, right? Well, it would be something like that, okay? That would be the idea. So every single one of these works exactly the same way, okay? Just in case you didn't know, this is the idea. You know, 
the point is to have that go here. And by the way, in every single case like this, yes, www now can work. This is perfectly fine. It could be in here. It could be in there. It could be in there. It could be in there. With or without. All right. So we create subdomains specifically to make them rank harder and higher on Google. The purpose is to do that. If you're not doing it, you're missing out on a huge gem, which is to take the opportunity to do it. The reason that it's a pain is because you have to do it manually normally. If I were to log in and do it manually and you were just to watch me do it, it would be something like this. And let's say I was trying to do this. Let me see. I want to kind of show you something like this uh, so you can see this. Let's say I wanted to do it. Okay, let me just grab some account. What's an account? Uh, take maybe this competitive companies okay and if i were to go here and say okay i need to go create me some subdomains then i would go to the subdomain section of the c panel and what would i do kind of thing you would expect it's saying what is the subdomain you're going to create on which website because if i have uh add-on domains they'll be in this list going on down the list right now so i have other subdomains in the list um, but let's just leave it at that for the minute. But, you know, and that would be the top level domain. Any one of these, though, is also perfectly fine. I could use it. OK, and especially with our tool, that's what I want to say. So if I did it from Mother's Day Flowers, it would be like this. Wap. Now, bap. And when I let go, it does figure this much out and I can create it. I'm on a dedicated server. It's going to be pretty quick. If you're on a shared server, it's slower. But if you go creating a bunch of these back to back, two things. One, this is a pain in the neck. OK, you will get so tired of doing this, especially if you had to do this on different domains, like not just the top level domain, but also the add on domain. This is not much fun. Uh, second, room for error. It's possible to just have errors in here. You know, you misprint something maybe or whatever. If you're trying to type it by hand, if you don't have them laid out like this, I'm just doing this so that you can see it, right? And again, it's the same thing no matter what you do. If you do John Doe with a dash, then yeah, it'll be John Doe with a dash, you know, and that's what it's doing. It's creating the folder that relates, okay? This is a pain and you have to do them one at a time. Now, let's say your next job was to put them on the next add on domain. All right, I got to start at the top. Anyone want to watch me do this again? Because you're right, this is boring, isn't it? Okay, and so who wants to do that? And this time it's saying, oh, there's a problem creating it because it already exists. All right, fine. One time or another, I put it in there when I was doing this kind of a thing. All right, forget about it. Here's the point. And you're going to love this. We don't want to do this manually. People don't like to do this manually. I know guys who outsource that work because it's a real pain in the neck, right? Now, what I want to say before I continue is going to be this. If I were to go here, let me just make the point clear. I did a 20 minute run with Moji, just making a point to people. Simple run, very public. OK, here we go. Insider money system. OK, um, it's some program on ClickBank. OK, it's some MLM program on ClickBank. This is my link. This is my link. This is 102 million results, it's saying. Look at that, 102 million of them. That's, let me try this again. It's so hard to pick it in here. This is my link. This is my link. Mine, 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 mine. And that's it. Now come other people's, okay? What's the point I want to make? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have the top six results out of 102 million results for the keyword. Why? Because here's the domain. And that's the subdomain. Let me blow this thing up so you can see it better. Okay. Let me say it again. That happens to be the domain in this case. That happens to be the subdomain. This is why it's number one. If it was just, if I just left it, www.mojipro.com slash make money online blog, it would not be on this front page at all. Matter of fact, neither would this one. It's a subdomain. Neither would this one. It's a subdomain. Neither would this one on a different website. It's a subdomain. Neither would this one. It's a subdomain. Okay. And there you have it. So there's the last one. And then we're on to someone else's stuff. But the reason I outrank the top guys is because I have the subdomains. Now, although that's not, it, it's not just as simple as, hey, voila, create the subdomain, you're a number one on Google. Um, for a lot of keywords, if you do create the subdomain, no one else did, 
Google likes what it sees. If you did it right, you created the subnet. You got stuff there. Like if I click this, there's something there. Okay. There is something there. There's a page here and it's got other links. Okay. And those links click through to other pages. They all wind up being kind of landing pages, just differently printed, but they all are landing pages. And, and when you finally get the idea to click the image, it takes you wherever. Okay. Okay, I gotta leave that page so I can show you. Now, let me show you something else. So here again, because I took the trouble to create subdomains, that's why I'm ranked six at the top. If I did not do subdomains, none of these six would be here. I would not be on the front page for this thing at all. Okay, let me give you one more example like that. Tukwila landscaping. Yes, we teach everyone how to do all this kind of thing and we're gonna keep on doing more of it. Take a look at this. 132,000 competitive results for Tukwila Landscaping. This is mine. This is mine. I'm outranking Thumbtack.com. I'm outranking Yelp for related. I'm outranking Dex Nose and Yellow Pages and even Seattle.com slash landscaping. Why? What do those guys not have in common that I am doing? No subdomains. If they had subdomains, they'd be beating me because by rights, they are much bigger websites. But Google likes my subdomains because they're clear. My subdomains help organize the information on my website into categories. If I do a project for Washington Landscaping and you click the link, it takes you to a page about Washington Landscaping. Very different than a page about some internet program. Do you get the idea? So this is about... Tuckwillow Landscaping Ideas Backyard, whatever, recommended, whatever, Washington Landscaping. And that doesn't even click through to a Washington Landscaper. It's to my pitch page for how would you like this to happen to you? Okay, we can do it for you. Now, I'm not going to pitch it, but I'm going to just make this point with this image. Most of this was exactly because of subdomains. For anyone that saw this before and didn't think about it, a lot of it was backlinks that drove up other links that just captured keywords and I was just making the points heck these runs are like two and a half years old and I'm still sitting here I'm still sitting here because of subdomains <laughs> and outranking www.thumbtech.com www.yelp.com www.dexnose www.yellowpages www.seattle.com all right now I promised you we had a much easier tool to make creating those subdomains much easier. So when you go to create a run, like it, who knows what you use, maybe Moji, maybe theme to HTML, maybe you don't use our software at all. Maybe you use WordPress, maybe you use uh, Drupal or Weebly or Joomla, or you just create your own websites, you know, Dreamweaver style or front page extension style. Uh, fact of the matter is, no matter what you use, the subdomain tool is completely useful to you. And not only can you create subdomains for yourself, you can create subdomains for anyone on any cPanel based hosting. That means HostMonster, HostGator, you know, anything like Bluehost, anything like JustHost or SEO Host or even uh, Host9.com. All of those work because they're all based on cPanel. You log in as a cPanel and it says cPanel on the page. It's not Plesk. Okay, we didn't write it for Plesk. We wrote it for cPanel. But anything cPanel will work. And how's this tool going to work? I'll show you. Let's say you're doing this for you or someone else. I'm going to log in. Okay, this is what you're going to have. You're going to put on your own website. We're going to show you how it's easy. Okay, once it's on your website, you can create subdomains for websites all over the planet. <laughs> Anything cPanel oriented, right? English based, I'm gonna just say that as a disclaimer. Don't go trying to do it in Japanese. I have no clue if it's gonna work, okay? We just do it in English, all right? This is like most everyone you're gonna bother with anyway. All right, there are just a couple of things on the dashboard. Wonderfully, it's very simple. There's a server section, that's the same thing. A create subdomain section, that is actually the same thing. And then site admin, okay? Simplest thing first. If you have questions, ask. Here's an email, ask, okay? Help and support, same thing, ask. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get this video link up here probably and some other links up here, whatever else, uh, but there you go. Now, like, you know, 15 reasons to create subdomains. Maybe we'll create that one day, we'll see. Uh, as far as servers, right? Most people know why they wanna create that. I've, I had a guy get a hold of me once and say, hey, I, I would love to get that tool and go into business for myself, offering my services, creating subdomain links for other guys. 
But why would I tell them to get subdomains? I said, heck, man, you don't even need to do that. Just go to Google and do a search for something like uh, I need uh, automated or I need, you know, to create whatever, lots of subdomains or mass subdomains or bulk subdomains, right? Uh, you're going to find that there are tons of threads and topics and questions asked about it. And somehow no one has a good tool. This we created it because we couldn't find one. The last one I saw it done was like 2006. Okay. Well, heck, it's 2014. I don't know why nobody comes up with a good tool, but whatever. After giving up trying to find one that did bulk subdomains, we just said, forget it. We're going to invent one. We need one. We're going to make it ourselves. So we did. Okay. So, gee, you will find that so many of these forums have people asking, and if you look at the thread, you can just immediately reply. You don't even need to log in. It's not meant to be a forum like that. It's just some place where you can reply. And just say, hey, I can do your subdomains for you. Contact me here. Man, you do that like to all of these, maybe a few more. Do some other kinds of searches like this. You're in business for yourself. You can charge whatever you want. Five bucks, create as many subdomains as they want in a single instance. That's how easy this is going to be. So let me show you how this works. Server side of the coin. And I didn't delete any of them, so that's cool. I still have them in here. I added some servers, and I can select all, and I can delete them. And I could add a new one. I could delete some individually. Okay, And I will keep showing you what we're going to do. But for instance, I can see all the subdomains that exist on one of these servers now. And I can add new ones, a whole list of them. Now, let me show you what I mean. If I were to go into one of these, I could edit the information for it. There's the website. Let me kind of blow this up too. Notice there's no HTTP. Just there's a website. There's the username. Here's the password, right? Let me go back. Any one of these, okay? I was looking at this one, showing you that one, okay? There you go. There's the address, there's the username, there's the password. I can update it. So if it changes or if I need to change it, I can do that. Let me go back. Now, how do you add a new one? Very simple. It's the same thing. Add a new one. Let me just grab one, okay? I'm going to get like that. But of course, like I said, keep it simple, okay? There's that. Now what? Um, here would be the username, okay? Here would be the password, and I'm going to save it. Okay. And what it will do is make sure that that's good to go. Now, if I wanted to see subdomains that are already there, I can just click this guy and it will show me not just the subdomains, and this is just tests and stuff at first, uh, for this domain anyway, that are on the root domain. But if I had add-on domains, it would also show me the subdomains for those. If I want to see if they're live, I can click on one. Yep, it's here. It doesn't have anything on it, but it's clearly here. Everything is fine about it. There's a CGI bin folder in there, you know, and there's no reason I'm supposed to be in there. So it's going to say forbidden. Uh, but the fact of the matter is this is resolving. It's not like it's not resolving. Say it, say it was gibberish. Okay. Then it's just going to say something like that. It's not available or it's going to say cannot find the page. Who knows what? Point is, it is there, right? Okay, let me continue to show you what I'm, so yeah, you can go and check any of these out. I actually have something here, for instance, right? I'll see it if I click on that. Okay, let me show you another one. I've got this, um, and so uh, servers, let me see the subdomains on that. It's got a lot. It's got them for different programs, different links, and I do believe that I have best companies today, no, not here. I was going to say uh, add-on domains, but maybe not there. So, like, I got add-on domains in some of these places. Competitive companies, maybe? Let me see. Best companies in town. Uh, Chicago Plumbers. It just it kind of goes on. But look at this. This is a longer list, right? Competitive companies, competitive companies, competitive companies. Best companies in town. That is an add-on. Mother's Day Flowers dot best companies in town. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and, yes, it exists. All right. So you can see all the subdomains on the website. So you can see what to create, what not to create, or whether you created some or whether they exist. You don't have to go to the cPanel and log in. You can just see from here, okay? Long as the information's correct, you know, update, then that will work, okay? And it will go look for you. And it's looking in real time. And it's telling you what the folder name is for.
Okay. Oh, let me point out another thing because for all of you guys who wonder about add on domains, when it comes to um, Moji, this is a really important question for you, isn't it? Let me uh, let me go back. Let me see. That doesn't. I got to fix that button. Um, competitive companies. Yeah. All right. Watch this. If I go to the bottom. Best companies in town. Aha. That's not doing it, but it's doing it now. You'll see now. This subdomain is pointing in the root of the top level domain, which is competitive companies. But now we got the update fix. So now when I do it with this tool, this I did this with um, the earlier version. But now when we do it, and you'll see it happen, because I'm going to do it and show you, then it uses the add-on folder and puts the subdomain folder in the add-on folder the way it's supposed to be for add-on domains for Moji purposes. So if you're using the 2 GHB, you're using the 3 GHB, and you're putting it on add-ons, add-on domains, then you need to make sure that if you're doing subdomains on your add-on domains, that the subdomain folder, this is the subdomain folder, is inside the add-on folder. And you're going to see that in a minute because I'm going to create some. All right, so let me see. I just added this. So let's actually add some. How do we add some? You can click on this button, which will do it, or... Just click on that button, create subdomains right when you log in. You don't need to go to servers first unless you're looking or adding a new server. And you can delete servers if you need to. Okay. But you can do this for anyone. Choose a host server. Okay, here's my drop down list so far. This is what I created. Let's say I do um watch this. Let's say I do um mojipro.com. Guess what? This is emojipro.com and I could add a new server host right that's just to add a new server host all together a brand new one I don't need one though okay now check this out show the domain mojipro.com if I hit this it shows me the subdomain so I can make sure I know where I'm at not just that but there is an add-on domain called moji-pro.com right not really ingenious or anything <laughs> but take a look at this Get date tonight dot moji dash pro dot com goes to public HTML folder. There's the moji pro add on folder for that domain. So the add on domain points at this folder and get date tonight would point at get date tonight. That's the point I want to make, but I didn't actually do it with this. This already existed from earlier. Exotic Mexican was about exotic Mexican jewelry. That's just a subdomain on the top level domain. Okay. Uh, anyway, let me show you. Okay, so here's the point. What if I do this? Hey, look at that. It shows me all the add-ons that also exist on the website. There was just one in this case. If there were three or five, then it would show me three or five. If there were 25, it would show me 25. And if I look at this, yeah, it's still going to show me all of them for the account anyway. Okay. Maybe later what we'll do is have this only show for whatever's physically in here and have it filter out the rest whatever so I'm gonna put it there's my top level domain but the domain I'm gonna choose that's the server host so the domain I'm gonna choose is actually gonna be this add-on domain okay heck with it let me show you both there's the top level domain so now I just provide the list of subdomains so guess what that's gonna be let me close this out because this is just too much gibberish to see but check it out here we go I've got San Francisco plumber I've got Houston carpet cleaning I've got Seattle dentistry I've got John Doe, Mary Smith for the whole MLM concept. And then I've got whatever affiliate one, two, three, four, five. So you can see how that works. That could also work for the uh, the rental software concept if you actually were putting copies on your website for that reason. How's this work? So I'm just going to select all, control all, control C, for example, paste it in here. And I just hit save. Now let's wait and watch. It'll take a minute. And then if it doesn't give the feedback, that's okay. We can go and check it. If it does, great. If it says it already has these things, it'll say that. Error, can't create a new one. No data received. That's kind of a pain, right? We're going to have this fixed real, real soon. That's on the list uh, to, to have this fixed. Sometimes it does that. Usually it doesn't. But anyway, let's see how it looks. Moji Pro. Moji Pro, show all subdomains. Now, if I wanted, I could just start checking. There's my affiliate, one, two, three, four, five, right? That was that one, affiliate one, two, three, four, five, because they're alphabetical, right? Where's my John Doe? Let me just see if that's in here, okay? John Doe, 
HIJ. There it is, John Doe. Get it? Now what? And again, I could go through all of them, like Houston, right? Uh, carpet cleaning. Now, what's another way to just make sure I got them? There's Houston carpet cleaning. By the way, I can click on these again and make sure that they got created. They did. And yes, the folder name is the right folder name, okay? All right. Now, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, there was one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, if I wasn't sure if it did it, I could do it again. Like, what happens if I have some that are the same? Well, we'll see what happens. And you'll see pretty quick. There we go. It's going to say subdomain, San Francisco plumber, directory path, and it's going to say, uh-oh, the result is a DNS entry for that domain already exists. So that's fine. It just means, hey, this thing is already there. No need to create it a second time. It's already created. Get it? No big deal. So if I run it once and I don't get results, I can just run it again to make sure they're all covered. Okay? And they are all covered. Okay? Might be what caused the error as I had the space at the bottom. So whatever. I'll try that again differently. Now watch. Let me do the same thing, but this time I choose the add-on domain. Okay? Subdomains on the add-on domain. I'm going to take that off. All right? Because maybe that's what caused that no data received. Okay? Wow. There we go. Here we go with the add-on domain. Save. Let's see if it does all those on the add-on domain. That would even be cool if you need to create duplicate information in more than one spot. And there are reasons for doing that. Check that out. There we go. San Francisco Plumber.mojidashpro.com. Guess what? The directory path. Public HTML. Let me blow this up. Well, there it is. The Moji Dash Pro add-on domain folder followed by San Francisco Plumbers inside of it. What's it saying? It's saying bind reloading on server using this zone, da, 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 da. The subdomain, this, has been added. So that's good to go. Has been added, has been added, okay? If it's white, it's good. If it's pink, it's already an error, probably because it already exists, right? Houston carpet cleaning, same thing now, same thing now. All these add-ons went to the right place, and they've all been added. Isn't that cool? And... I can hit one and just see what it looks like. And sure enough, it's good to go. And that means that Moji-Pro.com control X slash the, that folder exists. And that is the same folder. Let me blow it up. Okay. It's the same folder. And the only reason it says parent directory is it knows that this is a folder now. So if I go to the parent directory, it just goes to the main page of the site, which doesn't happen to have anything on it at the moment. Just links to other projects that I put up is, is just examples of how things work. Okay. All right. There you go. I think you get the idea. Absolutely awesome tool. And the only other thing the only other real feature we're th we're toying with some other ones but the one that's important the one that we really care about and the one that we're going to wind up adding here pretty soon uh let me just see if i were to choose one you know all right whatever and i were to put some in then there's going to be a second option for delete as well as like save meaning create there will be an option for delete so if you have a bunch of subdomains that are already there let me flip back to moji pro i know i have these subdomains here if there's some reason why i want to get rid of one two three four or all of them then i'll be able to hit the delete button and it will look to see if it can find them and whatever it can find it will delete and that's just, you know, so if you're adding subdomains on and you feel later like taking subdomains off, then it's just as easy to remove them as to add them, right? There you go. So that's really, really cool. This tool is awesome. It makes life a lot easier for you. It helps you automatically rank stuff uh, in a way that you should rank stuff. It makes sites appear far better, far faster. Let me give you a simple example real fast, and then I'll jump forward and make a point. Well, I'll tell you where to get it anyway, but take a look. There was a, we did one for a homeopath in, in uh, Wisconsin, but she does sessions on Skype. And we did just subdomains, and I did them for each state. So we actually wound up doing it for every city of every state in different disciplines. I, I'm just blowing it up so you get a clue. Homeopathy, Illinois. 
And so, for instance, this says Homeopathy Illinois, and it's Bowen Therapist. That's a bunch of Homeopathy Illinois Bowen Therapist links for Abington, Illinois Bowen Therapist, for instance. And sure enough, that's what the pages are all about. Bowen Therapist covering Abington, Illinois. Abington, Illinois Bowen Therapist. Da, 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 da. Okay. And the purpose of this page, get people to click the link, which leads you to her. That's the whole idea. Okay. And again, this is my, you know, I keep blowing these pages up um, to show you what's going on. Now, if I were to go to a different section of the site, just to make the point, I might go here to homeopathy like Minnesota. And in there, I might go to another section. So I might have homeopathy Minnesota natural healing. And if I click there, okay, there we go. Homeopathy Minnesota natural healing. That's all these links you see in here. And that could be like Ashland, Minnesota or Apple Valley, Minnesota. If I click, sure enough, that's for Apple Valley, Minnesota, right? Apple Valley, Minnesota. This is going to help her get ranked. And this is the purpose of Moji anyway. Now, Thing is, she tends to show up for most of these things. If I were to take a look at just randomly at something like this, chances are good she's there. And she is. Look at that right there. So there's an ad, but she's one of the top results, and she beats the Google Places, right? And I just kind of like grab that really randomly. If I were to try to do something else, if I were to get even clean out and go to a different state, you know, Indiana, uh, by, I don't know, homeopathic practitioner, uh, Clear Lake, Indiana Bowen therapist. And I would just to, to highlight this, say, control C, and go there. Let's just see. Yeah, that's her right there. That's the page right there leading to her right there. Again, it's not so big. <laughs> so what's the point? That you can make these runs work. And the biggest Biggest, biggest reason she's showing up. I mean, there's 230,000 results for this very keyword. This is a lot of competition. But look, she has a subdomain. They do not. The Bowen Directory.com. She's beating it here. Massage therapists, health professionals, beating it there. No, no subdomain. No subdomain. No subdomain. Nothing's got a subdomain all the way down the page like it all. There's not a subdomain here. Not one. And there you go. This is why she's ranking, outranking them, because subdomains matter that much for ranking. So everything you do in the future, you're going to want to do with subdomains. One of the most important tools you're going to have for that is exactly this tool here, because it will simplify your life as you start running out any kind of projects and you're creating a new project to test some new program to see how many sales you can get. And then you put up something else to see how many sales you can get on that. Um, you're going to want to put all these projects in subdomains. And the easiest and fastest way to handle up on that is to use a subdomain creator like this. And if you're not just using it for yourself, there are going to be guys who want to get this thing simply to go out and offer their services to other people who know why they want to create subdomains for themselves. So you may not know why you need subdomains for yourself yet, but by having the tool, you can start creating subdomains easily for anyone else. All you need is their website, their cPanel, username, and pass, and they'll give it to you if you're going to handle up on their subdomains for them, and you can charge them a lot or a little, whatever you want. You know, people will come for it. Final point I want to make, where do you get it? You get it at WebsiteMarketingSolutions.com, okay? And just to put that in here, just so you can see it, to make sure you, you can see it, here it is. So, Website-marketing-solutions.com. And that's solutions in the plural. Website Marketing Solutions. And if you go there, you hit the Strong Tools button. And once you're there, it's the first thing you'll see on the page. We obviously have more tools, more things going on. This is extremely important. The other thing that's also extremely important is this piece right underneath it. For those of you who are grabbing these, you're doing the right thing. We've got more training coming out soon that's going to really involve both of these. So you're going to want both of these. Get them before prices go up. Get them while it's easy to get them now and get going. Get yourself set up. It even works on GoDaddy. Okay, because that's also cPanel. The whole world of website owners needs to create subdomains. Um, and you will have a tool that we just couldn't find on the internet, which is why we build it, which means lots of people need you to have it. It's very cool. There you go. I hope you found this interesting. It's a great tool. 
all updates are going to be free on that thing because why not? You know, it's just a awesome tool. So the delete button's coming out soon. So if you want to start creating some domains now, don't worry about it. That delete button will be out in a couple of days. And so you can delete whatever you want at that point. Okay. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much.